Hey guys, this is Jam with AudioMediaProductionService.com. Today we're going to go ahead and cover the home and the meters page uh, to the right of the screen. Um, to start, we're going to go ahead and hit the home page. On this screen, this is just pretty much a mirror image of your fat channel. Um, like we covered in previous videos, you would hit view. Um, you would select the channel you want to work on. You would hit view by the section you wanted to work on on the fat channel. So this is just pretty much a mirror image of that. Um, and every time you hit view, it literally just took you to one of these pages we're gonna cover here. So if I was to hit the gate, there's my gate screen, the view button on the compressor. Now you see my compressor working. And uh, EQ, et cetera, your bus sends, your mains, um, your preamp section. So we've already covered all the parameters of the home screen in previous videos. So I do recommend you go and check out those videos. Um, moving on to the meter section. Um, the meters page is pretty much exactly what it says. It's a meters page. So um, if you go to the channel meters, uh, this just shows all your gains for all your inputs. Um, it also does show your faders on the screen and where they're positioning. You do have a gain reduction underneath that. As you can see on my vocal right now, I got a little bit of a compressor working. You can see the gain reduction there. Tab over to the next page, you got the output section and the output meters. And once again, you do have uh, the faders on the screen. You can see that it's mirror imaging my faders on the console. You also have gain reduction on the outputs. Um, this shows your mix bus, your matrix, and your main bus outs. Tab over. Um, we got the aux sends and the aux returns meters. And then uh, the stereo effects returns. Tab over again. You have a mix of both your ins and your outs. Um, but you don't have the regain reduction meters. Tab over again, this is a new feature that Behringer added in a recent firmware update. Um, you can plug in an RTA mic into any con or any input on the console and you can select the source of that input right here. And uh, so if you wanted to pink noise the room, you can plug your RTA mic into the back of the board and watch the analyzer and flatten out the room here. You do have a... Uh, uh, bar graph or you can do a spectrograph and then uh, you got certain parameters for that you can choose pre or post uh, graphic EQ so if you want to go ahead and see your RTA uh, uh, before your uh, graphic EQ you can do that or you can set it to see what the graphic EQ is actually doing to the room which that's my recommendation if you're going to use pink noise to flatten out the room. Um, the board does have a pink noise generator in it, and I'll cover that in a video coming up. Um, that covers pretty much the home section and the meter section of the Behringer X32. Uh, if you like the videos I'm doing, please comment and subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. And if you have any ideas for future videos or have any questions, or problems you need solved, I'll do my best to go ahead and make a video and to solve those problems. Thanks.